Hello everyone, welcome to Cal Southern Learning Management System. In this video, I will show you how to log in to your learning page and how to navigate to your course. So let's get started. In order to access your learning page, you will need to enter lms.calsouthern.edu. So this is the URL that you need to access your learning page. So once you have entered um, lms.calsouthern.edu, you will find um, the home page. Once you enter the home page, you will find a um, sign in box in here, the middle of the page. Under username, this is going to be your email address. It's going to be your um, email, Cal Southern email address. And the password I will be sending, um, the advisors will be sending to you in your email. So I'm going to show you how your course look like. So this is my um, sample account. So here, username, once again, username is your email address. And password will be sending you in your email. So once you enter this, you're going to click login. So once you clicked login, you will find um, this is dashboard. So you will find your courses that you are currently enrolled in your dashboard. I have many courses here because these are the courses that I'm enrolled in. Um, so in here, I'm going to find the courses that I'm currently in enrolled, which is um, PSY 87500. So in here, I'm going to click the course, so which I will be then taken to the actual course. So this is how your course is going to look like. So before we go into navigating the course, let me show you how to change your password. So once you get um, in the Moodle page, you um, you will notice your name is on your top right column here. So go ahead and click your name and you will see a box that appear. Under here, go ahead and click preferences. So once you click preferences, you will find um, another page where under user account, you'll see change password. So click on change password and if you notice here um, there's a current password box, new password and new password again. So make sure you enter your current password, your new password, enter it twice for confirmation and save changes. So that's how you change your password. So I'm not going to change password right now so I'm going to go back to my course so right now I'm in PSY 87500 so this is your course and again I'm going to show you how to access your course so if you see on your left top um, column you will see my courses if you click on my courses all the courses that you are enrolled in will be listed under my courses so this is one way of accessing your course the easiest way is through your dashboard your course will be in your dashboard so th those are two ways to access your course so once in your course, once you are in your course, now let me show you where to find um, uh, resources here. So if you notice here, there's a textbook information. So this is the textbook that you will be using in this class. And um, I have a link for eCampus. So in order to uh, order your textbook, you can click on eCampus and this will take you to eCampus page and you can order the, your textbook based on this ISBN here and this is the textbook here. 
and make sure the textbook here match with the syllabus. The syllabus is in here. So here you will find class announcement. So this is um, introducing to PSY 87500 uh, 87 and here getting to know your mentor and introduce yourself so you can click on this forum and introduce yourself here and here resources supplementary resources so under the supplementary resources you will find all the resources in your um, syllabus will be in here and um, here you will find resources contact information if you go ahead and click that you will find contact us page so contact us page um, basically um, you will see the list of contact information that you need your registrar librarian learner account information as um, certifying official information and technical support and here we have um, the phone number for any contact information you have the phone number here and this is the office hours here so those are the under um, contact us and under support services you will find a support services for um, technical support services here so those are the two files that you'll find under resources contact information and if you scroll down you will see your course syllabus here and uh, so this is how your course is being divided so this is weekly schedule so week one you will see read page here so when you click on read page you will see uh, content that um, what exactly you are supposed to read so here's the reading page goes here and here um, the next one is PowerPoint presentation so if you click on chapter 2 you will see a PowerPoint presentation for this uh, week and um, this again this is a forum so activity 1 shows class participation forum so when you click on class participation forum here you will see this is a class participation um, please read the instruction here and uh, okay next we're going to take a look at how um, discussion forums are posted um, in this page you will see a discussion participation next I'm going to show you how to participate in a discussion forum if you notice you will see discussions every week there's a discussion every week here green button here so let's uh, take a look at how to respond to discussion question so in here week one you will see class participation introduction so go ahead and click on the discussion forum so once you clicked on discussion forum so you will see the description here so here if you notice um, posting one please share your current knowledge about the course content um, this is posting two so this is what you're going to be doing add a new discussion topic and here scroll down you can say um, this is give us sub a subject here and type in your message type your message here and if you have any attachment go ahead and um, upload your attachment and then post to forum so once again add a subject message your message goes in this box if you have attachment file you can attach it here and then post to forum just gonna say hi once you post to forum 
and you will see um, discussion started um, the last post so this is how you respond to um, this is how you post your discussion question so the next one um, I'm going to show you how to review how to view your assignment so in order to view your assignment you will see a blue box here flow blue folder with, with a white arrow pointing down that's your assignment so go ahead and click your assignment so once you click your assignment this is the description um, your assignment should be one to two pages plus read the description here and in order to add uh, upload your assignment you go to add submission and here attach your assignment so I'm going to show you a sample so I'm going to click on this add add and choose a file the word document or PDF that you saved in um, your file in your computer so I'm going to randomly choose a file open and upload this file and here I'm going to hit save changes so once I uploaded the file you will notice under file submissions the assignment that you just uploaded it's right here and the status shows not graded and here this is still under draft and if you want to confirm your assignment if this is the right assignment and you want to confirm it submit assignment so once you submit it just have to click on here and continue so here assignment you get a confirmation saying you're submitted for grading assignment was submitted and when the men when your once your mentor uh, graded your assignment you will see your graded your grade here and your comments in here so that's pretty much how to submit your assignment and the rest pretty much um, the same what we just covered so here if you notice this is the read page if you click on that so in this um, week week three week two um, you be reading chapter three and four and here um, again there's a class participation here so it's a class participation um, discussion and um, there is no assignment for week two if you go to week three you have a dis um, assignment here where you'll be doing the same thing again add submission attach the file and save changes so that's how you um, participate in your course so the last thing that I want to cover is um, to see your grade book so if you go back here okay um, so let me show you how to view your grade book so again we're going to click um, your name here on top right column here click on your name and you will see this box appear and you will see grades so click on grades so you will find your grades in here here so right now I have multiple courses here so I don't see the grade so let me go click on the right course here and you will see all your grades for this class listed in here so this is how you um, find your grade book so I'm going to go back here name I'm going to show you um, there's also a message field here that if you click on messages this is how you can send message directly to other learners or to your mentors you can just say hi so the, you, this is how you do a message here um, so pretty much that's it um, again once again let me show you how to access your course 
so this is your dashboard in your dashboard you be seeing your course in here so for me I'm going to go to future course here so this is how you access your course okay once again um, if you have any question feel free to email me uh, my name is Tila and um, I'd be happy to help out and uh, any time please reach me or your advisors anytime um, I will be available to if you have any um, problem as um, accessing the course or posting assignment or posting um, forum I'd be happy to help out um, thank you so much um, to watch this video and um, enjoy your class I will see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye